Hey guys, we're here at one of our homes that we have bought recently. This is a house that Susan kind of bird dogged for over a year uh, where the buyer, excuse me, I guess the seller indicated they wanted to sell the house, but it took them months to sign the contract because of probate issues and trust issues. But after a year and staying in touch constantly with the, the seller, they signed the contract. It still took a few months to get the deal closed, but we got it closed. Now this is a unique scenario where we have multiple options because the house is really a good looking home on the outside. It needs updating inside and it's a house that we think we can sell as is without doing work. And we're actually going to market this 50,000 below market because the, the cost of our rehab to do this is about $40,000 to do it the right way. I could go in this home, put some carpeting in it. Uh, and just some flooring just to make it a little bit more livable, which we may do. We haven't done that yet, but that allows a, a homeowner to move in the home and actually live here and let them do the repairs the way they want to do it. Paint the house the color they want to paint it. They can remove the paneling. They don't want to remove the paneling or whatever it might be, but gives them the option of doing what they want to do to the home. Let's just take a quick walk in. We'll show you what it looks like. Oh, well. So Susan, I think this is something we come in this house if we mm -hmm. want to do it right now is let's see if a home buyer wants to put their own flooring down or not. Okay. The house is already clean. We don't need to paint it. There aren't any negative issues in it. And it's just letting them make the decision. But I think being 50000 below the actual market price will attract a lot of people to do this. Yep. I uh, know we've already come in the house here and removed the carpeting because it looked pretty skanky. And that's one of those kind of things about removing the negatives so often, but you don't have to necessarily accentuate the positives because putting flooring down can be fairly inexpensive. Yeah. And let the new homeowner decide if they want to come in and put hardwoods or tile or carpet or vinyl or something else mm -hmm. in that scenario. And I really love these. We're going to take those that's down and bring them to your house. No, no. I don't think that's what in that regard. Going on. But as you just go through, you know, this room has paneling in it, and some people like paneling. Some want to paint it white, some want to remove it and do the sheetrock. And of course, we always love our acoustic ceilings as well. And you come back to the, the back of the home, and the uh, bathrooms and whatnot. And the bathrooms aren't bad, they're just simply not updated the way we would normally do them by taking the wall out, making it larger, and, and going the. Taking the fur down and those lovely. Mm -hmm bulbs. But you come in and of course none of our lights work in the house, but it's the same thing. I don't know what they were thinking back in the 70s with this multi-tier bedroom, but it's what they did quite a bit. And again, the same thing here, but you know, if I was going to do this house, mm -hmm. I would actually take all of this out up here, including the shower back in here, and I would put a whole wall right here to make this a larger, more uh, defined bathroom instead of trying to break it up like this mm -hmm. a little bit and then just take the fur downs out take the the redo the shower bring it up the ceiling and open it up a little bit more than what it is right now yeah and go but i like the wallpaper maybe we can keep that what do you think mm, i think it would be perfect for this but i think one of the the more attractive issues of this house from a square footage perspective is the prior owner had come in and they had enclosed uh, the driveway and the garage and they built the sunroom and of course it needs a lot of sheetrock work and whatnot to to be but done. This is heated and air conditioned. It is fully that's the neat part. This room and the garage, which is right behind us here, is fully heated and, and air conditioned, which is unique. Mm -hmm. And you of course you can see where the garage door was, and I would take all that out and either put French doors across or something of that nature to make this open because this would be a, a new ceiling. It needs everything in this one room. But what they did was, of course, they come in here and they actually leave the garage door in. And so we could eliminate the sunroom, put this back to a garage, or you can leave this as we can come in and do a full renovation on this. Mm -hmm. But this is great living space. And I think a lot of people in a neighborhood like this really want the living space. And they put a great carport back here already. So able to protect the cars and have the living space, 
I think that's probably what we would do if right. we need to go and do our full rehab on right. this house. So how long are we going to give it to sell before we decide to move to a rehab? I think since we started just before Christmas, which was a dead time, mm -hmm. I think another two weeks will define that for us. Okay. And I will point out one thing for everybody is you always look at your electrical panels, and this is called a Federal Pacific electric panel, which means we would, when we remodel the home, we will replace this because this is a known fire hazard. And it's just one of the kind of things that when you're buying and rehabbing homes, you have to know these kind of things because it's the smart thing to do. Uh, you don't want to get sued if your house burns down. Okay, let's go into the kitchen area in here. Laundry room. Okay, what's in here? Oh, I thought maybe that was another. Have you ever seen this? Yeah, pantry. Oh. Hmm. So it's just the, the laundry room and you know the kitchen is small but if we're going to remodel this thing you know it's going to be new flooring we're going to come in take the fur downs out up here to get some more height in here redo the countertops paint the cabinets back white again and do our usual rehab on all new appliances the house has got huge potential either way it goes and we'll just give it a few weeks maybe we get lucky you know and, and okay. sell it as is and then from there we'll start making some decisions and get this thing ready to go. Perfect. Hey guys, if you like this video and want more free information on owner financing, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we post. Don't forget to like this post and ask me any questions on owner financing below. When you're ready to take the next step, head over to the ownerfinancenetwork.com and check out our in-depth course on owner financing.